Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, which is an extension of my blog, Secret Style File. I have just come back from holiday. I came back about two days ago, um, went to Egypt and we had an amazing time and I'm um, still in the process of unpacking and washing clothes and things like that. So I thought it'd be nice to go through some of my makeup that I took on holiday with me. So there's two cases, my everyday makeup case and then obviously some extra bits for holiday. So we can go through them both. Um, so here is my pretty much everyday makeup case. It's really, really old. I got one of the zips is broken. This one's working. Um, but I just love it because I love the see-throughness. And it's got two compartments. Um, but if you do have any suggestions of any updated versions of this that I can find after 10 years, please let me know and comment below. Okay, so I've split up my compartments into eyes and the rest of my face so my first one is just um my usual back compact so in here i have all that glitters brulee um just a normal carbon black and i think it is sable i'll just check on the back oh no it's satin talk so these are my four um main colors that i use every day then I took, I always have two mascaras, um, the Clinique High Impact Mascara, which I love, um, this is my every single, this is my everyday mascara, I use this every day, um, on the tops I've got to manage to do one coat, uh, I don't really do two coats with a mascara, I'm just a one coat girl, and for the evenings I used my Thick and Fast Soap and Glory mascara which I absolutely love it's great so they're my two mascaras for every day this is really faded away now but this is the bourgeois um, Marcus Brown and I use this just to um, fill in my brows um, obviously my radiant creamy concealer by NARS my shade is biscuit and again I love it Day and night I used it, um, just a little bit in the day for the beach just to cover up, you know, but then you've got your big shades to cover up everything else, so I didn't really use a lot of makeup in the day. My, just my MAC usual smolder eyeliner for the waterline, again, just in the evenings. This, um, the Pro Longwear Paint Pots by MAC, this is painterly which is a really neutral colour and what I did with this I kind of just put on my base which I'll go show you um, I just put this on my eyelids this in the day with um, something else which I'm going to show you over the top but this is great and you just wear it aligned and it's just kind of you know so you don't get all that kind of like gunge of your, your skincare building up in your eyes so this is a good and I use this as a base as well for my eyeshadow, so that's like an everyday must. My NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil, which um, the lid cracked and it's just looking a bit poor, but you know, it's it's great. And I use this just to, um, just under my arches of my brows, just to highlight and it's great and I love it. And then my liquid eyeliner, which I didn't use in the day, but I used every evening is the Skinny Mini Ico um, in black and I love this it's just uh, it's so quick to do any kind of strokes you want I really love it and it's almost running out so I do need to get another one so I'll be getting another one very very soon so that's my eyes done um, moving on to the rest of my face this was my favourite blusher on holiday the NARS in Kilda and I dropped this on a holiday in the hotel room and you know when your heart just literally stops for a second I was so scared to pick it up but it's fine it just got a little bit cracked on the corners but thank god it's fine then I used um, my, my mineralized skin finish in um, medium just to kind of take away the shine and what I wore I'm gonna go into oh no here it is 
So I did my normal skincare routine, which I'm not going to go through with you now because that was just another video. But this, the Naked Skin Beauty Balm, um, was absolutely amazing on holiday. So I just wore this um, over my professional still, which I did. And I took a little mini version just to save some space. So moisture right. moisturizer, obviously cleanse tone moisturizer. Then I wore this um, Clinique Even Better Dark Spot Corrector, which is SPF 45. Um, I don't like my skin, um, the skin on my face, to get too tanned, only just because it really messes up with your whole makeup routine, your foundation shades, things like that. So um, I wore this, then I did my professional, and then I used the Naked Skin BB. So these are my three favourites for holiday. And um, then I just did my Paintly MAC. And then what I used on top was the Soap and Glory Solar Power, Solar Powder, sorry, um, bronzing duo. So I had the light highlights one just over my lids. Um, with a little bit of that, and that was it with my eye makeup, and then just one coat of either clear mascara or just my Clinique high impact mascara, and that was it for my eyes. And then I just wore my big shades over, so that I basically hid everything. Um, obviously, I had to take my Touche Claire, my everyday lipstick Brave, which I'm wearing now. Love it, it has to go everywhere with me. Came on the plane with me. Um, my sleek contour kit. I think this is the medium one. Um, I'm obsessed with contouring, um, especially my nose and just below my cheekbones. And the debate I had with myself every morning was whether I needed to contour on the beach and by the pool. Didn't need to because it gets hidden by the big shades, but you know, I'm, I'm a bit obsessed. So that's it really, and pencil sharpener, you know, for the eyeliner and the lip liners. So that's my makeup bag, everyday makeup bag, empty, that's just the pencil sharpener in there. Then extra holiday fun. This was amazing on holiday, so just carry it around in your beach bag when you need a little bit, get it out. Take away the shine. Obviously, being out in the sun all day, you're going to get shine. So, that is a holiday must, especially if you're going somewhere hot. Obviously, I took my Chanel Perfection Lumiere, which I used some evenings, but it just feels too hot to wear foundation, and I felt like my skin was glowing, so I just mainly powdered on top. Then, to add a bit of poolside colour, I took my Soap and Glory Sexy Mother Pucker Gloss Stick, which was great. This is in Futuristic, and that looks really bright, but it's really, really pale. I'll just do a little swatch for you. See, okay, that looks quite right there but on your lips in real life by the pool this is great it just gives a little bit of gloss and hydrates your lips as well at the same time which is great if you're moving away from the pool or you just want a little bit of colour um, then you've got to use the Ilmasca, um lipstick in luster and this is from the new glamour collection and that is just bright how that's just amazing looks so great so that's that one um and obviously i took my kate moss um lasting finish in shade 111 kiss of life again great red pout and then I used this, which is called Eye Eye, and it's from the 17 range from Boots. Um, obviously, if I had nude lips or if I just had my Brave, 
um, and it's actually okay with the Sexy Mother Pucker gloss stick as well. I used this um, eye crayon just in a really bright blue which is called Jewel. I'll do a little swatch for you there. See it's really nice and bright and I just literally just under my waterline just to add a little bit of colour and it looks really really great by the pool side. Um, and obviously in the evenings as well, but this is just all like daytime things. Um, and then a tip for the plane and when you're tired and looks nice for a little bit of touch of colour on holiday, this is the Sleek Dip It Eyeliner. These eyeliners are great, they're really really cheap, under five or maybe, yeah, five pounds something I think. Um, and just this is just in navy. So when you're tired after you've been in the plane just to look, make your eyes look refreshed and to just make your eyes pop. Um, I always use a bit of blue eyeliner and you can normally be able to tell if I'm bright. In fact, I'm wearing a little bit of blue eyeliner right now under my waterline. You thought it was black, didn't you? Then um, obviously if you don't want to wear anything on your lips at all, then I was using the EOS um, lip balm in Passion Fruit and you see the little eels there? No. I, lo I love this. And the passion fruit and I think the strawberry together are uh, limited edition itself, which is at the moment. So that's my other. And then I obviously took a lot more brushes. Um, as you know, I'm pretty much brush obsessed, but these were my favourite brushes for holiday. So I've got my Sigma F40 blush brush, which talked about in my last video. The setting brush by Real Techniques. So this was what I just used to take away any shine and powder. A powder, just a powder on, powder away shine. If I wasn't using this when I wasn't in my room carrying on my makeup bag. And the Expert Face Brush by Real Techniques as well just to buff in the naked skin BB. So there you go guys, that's my um, holiday makeup which I'm going to pack away now nicely. Um, look out for my post on my top five favourites which I'm going to try and pick out for you now. I'm also going to do a post on holiday essentials which includes sunglasses, sunglasses holder um, and you know, my what's in my handbag video and so many more. So if you like my videos, then please like, comment and subscribe to my channel and make sure you visit my blog, which is updated regularly, which is called secretstarfile.com. And as I say, as I always say, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I'm always uploading really exciting things. I did a fabulous beach picture of the professional and um, you know you'll see lots of different things going on 